Hello and welcome to India Today. I'm Anjali Istavar. And as we celebrate 75 years of independence, we're going to talk about Made in India. And what better to talk about than Tejas, the light combat aircraft of India, Made in India. Tejas is a lightweight, highly agile, multi-role supersonic fighter. It is a true blue product that is holding the flag of Made in India high. Tejas might soon be part of the Malaysian fleet as Malaysia has shown keen interest in this compact war dynamo. If chosen, it will become airborne in Malaysian skies, leaving behind China's JF-17, South Korea's F-A-50, Russia's MiG-35 and Yak-130. This defence deal proposed between the two countries has shown the world that India has the tech and the expertise to be an arms supplier and exporter. R. Madhavan, Chairman and Managing Director of India's state-run Hindustan Aeronautics Limited or the HAL, which makes Tejas, said that India's Tejas has outperformed aircrafts from China, South Korea and Russia. India has made a bonus offer to Malaysia in this deal. India has offered maintenance and repair support to Malaysia and will also supply replacement of parts of the Sukhoi 30 fighter aircrafts in this fleet. Due to Western sanctions on Russia, Malaysia is unable to purchase the maintenance and parts of the Russian origin Sukhoi 30. This deal with Malaysia will open many doors for such deals with other countries as it will send a strong message that India is capable and competent exporter and supplier of defence equipment. According to reports, compared to the MKIA variant of Tejas, China's JF-17 might be a cheaper buy for Malaysia, but on the technical front, the China product does not match up to Tejas. Also, the sweetening of the deal by India with its Sukhoi 30 maintenance plan makes the offer irresistible for Malaysia. According to the Defence Ministry, India is solidifying its reputation as a defence equipment exporter with every passing year. Currently, India is a seller of defence equipment and arms to 84 countries in the world, which include global powers like America, Britain, France, Sweden and many more. An India-Russia joint venture, Brahmos missile, that is capable of being launched from submarines from a depth of 40 to 50 metres, is also being exported by India. India cracked a deal worth 37.5 crores to supply Brahmos to Philippines in January 2022. In January 2021, India decided to export Akash, a medium-range mobile surface-to-air missile system developed by the Defence Research and Development Organisation or the DRDO and produced by Bharat Dynamics Limited. Akash is 95% made in India and was created after 25 years of research and development. Apart from exporting arms and equipment to other countries like America, Britain, France, Netherlands and Sweden, India also provides engineering services to many of these nations. India also exports through helicopter to Nepal, Maldives and Mauritius. Mauritius has also bought Dornier 228 aircrafts from India. India is a supplier of bulletproof jackets and helmets to countries like Israel, Japan, Germany, America, Britain and Saudi Arabia. Some of them even buy armour shield from India. India aims to attain an export target of $5 billion by 2024 in the field of defence equipment. What do you think about this video? Do tell us in the comment section. And also, for more news updates, please subscribe to India Today.